Hello, it's Darla Hoover here. Welcome to class. Uh, before I get started, I wanted to say a big thank you to Ruben Martin and Diego Cruz for making these classes happen in the first place and also for asking me to teach. I'm really excited. Um, I see some familiar faces out there and I thank you for coming to this class and um, it's so nice for me to reconnect with you. And um, I love having this opportunity to do that with you. Um, I miss you all. I also welcome this opportunity to teach those I haven't met before and I hope you enjoy the class. Um, accompanying me today is David Morse and I'm absolutely thrilled to have the opportunity to be working with him again. And um, just a footnote, if you see me looking off to the side, it's because I have you projected onto my big screen TV so I can see you better, all right? So I didn't want you to think I wasn't looking at you. All right, so I, I start my classes the same way um, with the same plie exercise every day because as a dancer, I couldn't stand the idea of having to pick up a plie exercise the first thing, but you'll have to pick up mine today. But if I ever get to teach you again, it'll be the same exercise. So starting in first position, we'll take two demi plies and stretch and demi and open into grand plie and six up seven and eight. We'll take a full quarter bra forward to and coming up and open demi plie, releve, plie, tendu second. In the second position, I do the same thing. Two demi plies, one grand plie. This time we'll take a quarter bra into the bar and up and we'll take a quarter bra away from the bar. Arms to the first tendu. I go directly to the fifth. I don't do fourth position. Two demis, one grand. This time forward and back. And then we'll have extra quarter bra into the bar for two counts, circling the whole way over the legs and up and into the bar for two counts, circling the whole way back and up. Plie, releve, left hand off the bar, find your center, sutu plie, tendu to the left side, exact same exercise. All right, I will talk you through it. David and.
Carla? Yes. Yes, I think your earpods got disconnected. I think they did too because I hear nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try to reconnect. Yeah. Oh, if yeah. you want, if you want, you can do the Tandius combination and during the Tandius, you can fix it. And then I will put the, the people. We, okay. we can hear you not right now, so. Okay. So we'll take Tandu outside leg front and first. Inside leg front and first. Outside leg front, carry side to the demi and stretch. Same thing, long side and first and side and first and side and carry plie and stretch and then of course the same thing coming from the back and the same thing coming from the side i'm going to go directly to the second side after the second side stay on that side take your feet into the parallel and reach up and we're going to take a long back down and i'll give you time to stay down there and stretch it out and then roll it up and you'll go loosely back and up, turn out plie, and we'll press over the feet, and we're gonna rise in the first position for a balance, okay? Here we go, first position, stomach flat. I want you to think of all of this rotation happening from the top of the legs, and. I don't think I fixed the iPad, the, uh, the earphones, yes. is that? Yeah, I think so. We can hear you now. Oh, yeah. good. Okay, yeah. fabulous. Yeah. Okay. Good. The next tendu exercise I do is from fifth position, and is I give the same tendu exercise every single class I teach. It's just getting back to the basics. It's allow, it allows you to think about what you're doing and not, excuse me, it allows you to think of how you're doing something instead of just thinking of a crazy exercise. So very simply, we're going to take tendus from fifth on qua out and two and in and two same thing side and two and in and two back and two and two side two and two second round is front and two demi plie and stretch side and two plie and stretch back and two plie and stretch side and two plie and stretch and then we'll take a pas de cheval we're going to break it down today wrap and out tendu close to the fifth and wrap and out tendu close fifth on qual and the last round are sutanus on qual front and two into the fifth and two 
side and two and fifth, back and two and fifth, side and two, we'll suit to new to the left side. So one round straight, one round to demi plie, third round is broken down pas de cheval, and the fourth round are suit to news. Okay, here we go, fifth position with the right foot front, get up tall, and. Now don't move the toes at all. Plie, knees back as you stretch, side. Demi, plie, toes, plie, stretch, side, two, plie. Now broken down, wrap, tendu. Good, now hold this left hip as the right foot wraps. David, that was perfect. Very good. Now let's get a little perkier in our tendus. Let's take tendus front. We'll take out and in and in and stay and out and in and in and stay and out and in and in and stay. Demi plie and stretch and reach close front, close back and reach close front, close back and reach close front, close back. Plie and stretch. That's going to go en croix. To finish, before we go to the other side, we'll take a big porter bra into the bar for four counts, over the legs for four counts, into the bar for four counts, circling the whole way back, left side right away. All right, out and in and in. Here we go, fifth position, right foot front. And. Good, reach. And 
reach, place and place, nice. Place and place. Yeah. Now make sure this gets right behind you. Feel the connection between your right shoulder and your left leg. It wouldn't be class with Darla if I didn't give you fast tendu, so here you go. You're going to take 16 counts of first and fifth, and first and fifth, and first and fifth, and first and fifth, and first and fifth, then first and fifth, then first and fifth, then first and fifth, then first and fifth, first fifth, first fifth, stay, stay, 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 first fifth. Plie and stretch and repeat and in like a metronome. It's even each time and seven and eight again and two, three and four and five and six and seven and eight. First fifth stay, first fifth stay, 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 stay, first fifth plie sutenu left side and first and fifth. All right, here we go. Up tall. Find your inner thighs now. I'm sure you'll find them at the end of this. Here we go. And first and fifth and first and fifth and first. Nice fifth. Try not to bounce out of fifth. Like a metronome. In and in. That's it. And, in. and stay. And stay. And stay. And stay. Very good. Very good. That was a lot of tendus. Certainly your lower legs are getting warm now. I hope you find your inner thighs. And if you wake up and your inner thighs are sore tomorrow and you think of me, I'll be really happy. All right. Now, just to loosen you up, let's just take uh, swinging up and up and up and up and up and up. Just 15 on the first side. Turn around right away. We'll do 16 on the left. This is a freebie. This is just to loosen you up again. All right. Here we go. And. Now, what I want to do is I want to plant the seed in your head. What I like to you to think of in your body is that your legs spiral out of your body no matter what you do. So there's no up-down motions because both legs 
are spiraling to a make a passe, for instance, and they spiral to come down. Or if you want to think of like a corkscrew, that could be a fun analogy too. They corkscrew out of your body. Uh, so keeping that in mind for the rest of your bar. And remember, I said both legs. We all, it's so easy to get wrapped up in working on worrying about your working leg, but never it should never be at the expense of your supporting leg. What I what I want you to do. In fact, everyone stand in parallel right now, if you wouldn't mind. I just want you to feel something. This is a Marcia at Marcia Dale Weary. This is a Marcia exercise, but it's really actually brilliant. You just stand in parallel and then you engage your stomach and your seat muscles and your inner thighs. So your knees, which are looking forward right now, you turn your legs from the top so that your knees look out. Your feet have not changed. Your feet stay. It's literally just your inner thighs and your turnout muscles and your stomach muscles. Yeah, do you feel that? Yeah, and that's what I want you to feel. So now take fifth position and think of that. Think, what did I engage? And how did my inner thighs come forward? And that's what I want you to do with that supporting leg, no matter what we do for the rest of the class. I want you to think about that holding forward. That builds such amazing strength in your body. So without further delay, we're gonna take a two count degage front, which is going to allow you to really feel your legs rotating to come out. So it's not just a brush to the front, but from the top of your legs, they go this way. So we take degage one and two, fondue and two and out and two, close fifth. Then the same motion, one count each movement, one down, out, fifth degage, close fifth degage, close fifth, same thing, en croix, two and down, close front and out and two, close back and stay. One count does the same and out, close fifth, dégagé and fifth, dégagé and fifth. All right, this is gonna go en croix. Is that clear? Thumbs up. Yeah, okay, cool, here we go. Fifth position with the right foot front. Now stand in fifth and find those muscles rotate and don't let go of them until the end of class. And brush. work everybody really nice um this my big screen keeps changing to looking at myself and that's like the last thing i want to do on a big screen tv so i keep going over and fixing it let's take faster degages now starting with the outside leg of course we'll take degage front five we'll take front and two and three and four and five degage with the inside leg on six seven 
same thing to the side. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five. Degage six, seven. Back, one, two, three, four, five. Go back, seven. Now, en croix, front, side, back, side, front, side, back. That was seven. Reverse. One, and two, and three, and four, and five. Inside leg. Side, one, two, three, four, five. Inside leg. And front, two, three, four, five. Inside leg, en croix, back, side, front, side, back, side, front, you're done. All right, I'm gonna make a stop this time before you go to the second side. All right, here we go, fifth position. Good, get that energy in your body before you even start, find those inner thighs, and. Five, reach, place. recommendation when you're doing repetitive degage to the side and you're closing in the fifth make sure some of you I had the opportunity of seeing you from the side is taking on a slight rond de jambe feeling and you want to feel like the heels kiss and then they scrape the supporting foot as it goes across so it's a direct out in feeling as opposed to a circular feeling and then of course at the whole time while you're doing that you're making sure your supporting hip isn't doing this to accommodate that so have really a good warfare going on between your supporting hip and your working leg. All right, left side, fifth position. And. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five. Reach, place. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five. Reach, place, good. And back, two, three, four, five. Reach, fifth, on four. Face the camera, and we're going to do 24 degages to the side in first position. So you go and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and two and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plie, relevé, plie, other side. And one and two and three and four. Eight. Now you can apply that spiraling out of your body concept to these. The other thing I want you to think of is getting your weight completely on the ball of your supporting foot, making sure that this supporting rib doesn't go this way, because if it does, that means that hip is up. You have to get that rib inside the hip and sustain that, okay? Just 24 to the right, plie, releve, plie, stretch. 24 to the left, plie, releve, plie, stretch. This is a good one to help you get on your leg for the day, all right? First position. Stomach is in, and. In, 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 in. Good. Good, and you know that that left hip is not moving at all. clarify something. I'm seeing a lot of tight demi-plies out there. Um, 
if you're thinking about what I was telling you before about, I want your inner thighs coming forward all the time. That doesn't mean you want to hold your plies like that. I always feel that plie should be like a very fluid, you know, especially at your level, um, very fluid movement of release movement, nothing held in your muscles, especially considering the fact that you all are on very unusual surfaces <laughs> these days, shall I say. You want to be mindful of your plies that you're not holding like that. Uh, not good, not so good for the legs. All right, so easy on those plies. Let's go into um, rond de jambe on, uh, and we'll take brush front, passe, close fifth, and stay. Let's go faster. Let's go down, up, and fifth, and back, up, and fifth, and side slower, passe, close plie, and stretch. Then we'll take single and double and single and double. Let's brush to 90 degrees, carry to the side, carry to the back when there's not a piano in your way, close fifth. Then reverse, back up and fifth, front up and fifth, second up and sustain it, demi plie and stretch, single and double, single and double, brush to the back, carry to the side, carry to the front and close it to the fifth. To finish, we'll take a circular porter bra. It's only gonna be in four counts, but it's still gigantic and reverse that circular porter bra. And then I'm gonna take you down for a stretch. Take your inside leg the whole way down. I'm gonna, let's just turn it in and get that front of that left hip stretched out. Flex to the second position, come back up eventually. It's a miracle that I just got up by the way. And combre the whole way back and up. And then we'll take a rise to the balance. And when you take this fifth plie and you're gonna go into that passe balance, this is a wonderful moment to feel both legs spiraling out of your body to come up into that passe balance. All right, so envelope and plie to fifth. Inside leg envelope to plie fifth. Outside leg takes a little longer to the side, close plie and stretch, single and double, single and double. Brush to the front, carry to the side, carry to the back, close to the fifth, all right? One and two and three. All right, here we go, fifth position. Right foot front. Good, big breath and. Here it comes. Oh, 
flat, both inner thighs are forward, shoulders are pressing down. Again, try to finish without touching the bar, so you get right on your leg. And demi plie. Good. Good. Nice work. Let me put another thought in your head. When you go from front to side, if you think arabesque, then what we get from the working leg is it turns to arabesque. Think of second position just moving behind you, second position moving behind you. As you do that, you have to push your seat under because your seat's gonna wanna go back with the legs. You push the seat under and it's interesting because you'll get to about here and then you'll think, okay, this woman is crazy because I'm not built this way. <laughs> but our legs actually do work like our arms do. It's just a lot harder, especially if you have a different habit in there. And see how far you can take that leg without that idea in your head that you're switching to an arabesque. All right, we'll see if we can do that on the left side. Here we go, fifth position. And. Show me the bottom of that left foot. You have to remember um, when you're in a balance and there's gonna be movement within the balance, the first place, the number one first place that men and women, all dancers lose it, lose it is right here. You'll always wanna sink, your back was, is always gonna to wanna to sink into any movement. So I always instruct my students to think of like my hand on the middle of their back there and that that, that part of their back, by using their abs so strongly that it actually kind of pushes into my hand so it doesn't allow that. And that, that applies, it doesn't matter what strength level you ever get to, you can be at your strongest ever in your life, but when you have movement and a balance, that's what gives, it's just the way we're made. So just something to think about. And um, we'll have a balance at the end of this frappe exercise that's coming up, and so you'll be, able to, um, you'll be able to think of that then. All right, so frappes, we're gonna take three to the front, we're gonna take frappe front and front and front, and side, and side, and side. Double front, double side, double front, double side, and side, and two, and three, and back, and two, and three. Double side, double back, double side, 
double back, start back and back and two and stay and side and two and stay. Double hold, double hold, double hold, double hold, then side and one and two and three and front and two and three. Double side, double front, double side, double front. And then we're going to press up into a balance in sur le coup de pied. Pretend I'm on demi point. You're going to balance in sur le coup de pied. Thinking about this, so you're not going to give in here at all. You're going to take a low développé to the side on balance. And then you're going to take a passe with two arms up. Then you're going to extend that leg to 90 degrees and then done. Okay, so wrap, low, passe, high for the balance. In addition to thinking of this, you're also going to have to think of your supporting side. Because when you move that leg to passe or you take it low or you move it to passe, you take it out, that side is going to want to shift and you want to keep that a constant streaming thought that you're keeping that rib inside the hip so that the movement is isolated to the leg and it doesn't cause any other body parts to go cray cray on you. Okay. One and two and three and side and two and three. Double front, double side, double front, double side. Start side and it goes on qua and then we go to our balance. Here we go, fifth position. good but if that's the first time you're doing it that's awesome if it's um and also if it's the first time you're doing it gives you something i want to um leave you with things that you can think about and you can work on while we're in this uh so this quarantining situation i want you to think oh gosh you know what does she give and how can i accomplish that so that my body doesn't move and i can stay on balance so good here we go left side So cool. Very good. Good. David, I'm going to ask you just to play um, a, a music for them to do some stretching. Um, not going to take long, but I just want them to stretch out before they do an adagio. Is that okay with you? Here we go. <laughs>
finishing. David, that was so beautiful. Thank you. Now let's take a double pay that I will demonstrate with my arms and not my legs because I don't want to scare anybody. But fifth position with your right foot front and we'll take a fondue as one. Passe two, double pay front three, stay four, close fifth, hold the whole count of six and then a very fast double pay seven, that's to the front as well, close eight. En qual, one, passe two, and double pay side, and stay, close five, hold six, one count seven, close eight. That's en qual. All right, one, two, three, hold four, you close five, hold six, and then a fast double pay seven, close eight. All right, here we go, fifth position with the right foot front. <clears throat> right leg and For Grand Batman, I'm going to do a combo platter. It's going to involve Ronde de Jambe en l'air and Grand Batman. All right, so we take brush and circle and double, close it back. Now my inside leg does Grand Batman front and fifth and front and fifth and side. On de dame, double, close it front, back and fifth and back and fifth. En quoi, front and fifth and side and fifth and back ouch fifth and side and fifth two more to the side and fifth and side and fifth and one of what i call a tiramisu brush in up close fifth reverse brush single double close front back fifth back fifth brush on dior double close back inside leg fifth inside leg fifth on qual fifth side fifth front fifth side fifth two more to the side fifth side fifth up tiramisu up close fifth and we'll stop before we go to the second side i hope that's clear the ronde jambes are with the outside leg you close back two grand ma front brush on de 
on the dunk, close fifth, inside leg, fifth, inside leg, fifth, and then you're on call with the outside. All right, here we go. Fifth position with the right foot front. Now, when you brush for this, all this is gone for the round de jambes, check your weight. Know that you're on your leg. All right, here we go. Fifth position. And. position. everybody. Very good. Let's move to the center work, please. Now, anytime I Thanks, say Tyler. pirouette, if you're not in a place where you can do that, then obviously you just do the releve. We all have different situations going on. So this is another standard of mine. We're gonna start, I'm gonna show my left foot front, but obviously you're gonna start with your right foot front. I'm just trying to make it look sen like sensible for you. You're gonna take a demi plie and you're gonna take a releve passe to the demi plie, closing back and stretch. Plie, releve passe, close back and stretch. Then do the same with the single pirouette, single pirouette. Closes to the back and stretch. Plie, single pirouette, closes back and stretch. Then we're going to do the same thing with a double pay in a la seconde. Plie, double pay, a la seconde. Plie and stretch. Plie, double pay, a la seconde. Plie and stretch. Plie, single pirouette to a la seconde. Does not have to be high. I know you're on different surfaces. I'm just trying to get you on your leg. Demi plie and stretch, plie, pirouette to open, plie and stretch. All right, so first it starts out with the passes and then the pirouettes and then the développés and then the pirouettes to développé. All right, are you cool? Hi, Isabel de Vivo. I just saw your face, now you disappeared on me on my screen. <laughs> Great. All right, here we go, everybody. Fifth position with your right foot front. David, I like to use a slow waltz for this, please. Down, two, three, up, two, three, down, two, three, stretch, okay? Here we go, fifth position, right foot front. Now show me those fluid plies I was talking about earlier. Don't grip your plies, and. And, and 
releve up. see a lot of good work out of there but over you know from you all when i see you hit the top of your passe it looks like you're already thinking about the next side so when you come down you're not keeping your weight on your supporting side to come down and that can greatly affect your pirouettes because you want to be in control of your weight that it's staying over the supporting side until you land. However, whatever landing you're doing, you wanna be in control on that supporting side. Yes, two feet make fifth at the same time, but as you're coming down, you wanna keep it on the supporting side. I'm just seeing shifts in your weight. And I saw it in the passe, so it doesn't really have anything to do with your floors. I understand turning on those floors can be kind of sketchy, but I'm, I'm seeing it in the releves as well. Would you mind doing this one again? I want you to think about that because I'm really interested in and in really getting you on your legs and understanding how to keep it there. So let's do that one more time. Fifth position. And. And, and you're there. Now stay on that leg. And now you're going to stay on that left side. Up, stay on the left side. That was better. Now, even in this landing, stay on that left side as you come down. Now, develop. Okay, now here's where it really counts. Stay on that. Yeah. Now, keep that supporting rib inside your hip at the top. Keep it in. Yeah. Up, up. Right, that got better. When we do the devil pays, I see a lot of this. I see passe, and then I see this. So that has to, it has to work like a, a string puppet, if you will. Everything is here. My, uh, the only thing it changes is from my knee down. And even though obviously you're not intentionally moving your upper body, it's moving. So you have to be just a little bit more aware of it. Let's go into tendus. Let's take one and fifth and fifth and fifth. Fondue, releve, devil pay, susu, down. Out, in and into the back, fondue, releve, su, su, and down to the side. Fifth and fifth and fifth, then come front. Fifth and fifth and fifth, fondue, releve, plie, releve. Fourth, pirouette, fifth, left side. Out, in and in and in, fondue, releve, su, su, comes down, back. Fifth and fifth, fifth fondue, releve, su, su, comes down, go back. Fifth and fifth and fifth, come front. Fifth and fifth and fifth fondue, releve, plie, releve. Fourth pirouette, fifth and stay. Yeah? Is that clear? Let me get to a page here. Give me a thumbs up. Well, I'm not, I see a lot of my own students say that's not, okay. Good, I saw aliens with her thumbs up, that's good. <laughs> good, fifth position with your left, with your right foot front, stand up tall, and. Front, out, fifth, 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 fifth
that right side in. Up, down, up, up, down, and stretch. My Christopher, we're going to work on that later. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Snag. <laughs> Good. Let's move on to Adagio. All right. So you're going to start in fifth position on Faust, a beautiful preparation, of course. And then we'll take a decage to 90 degrees on one. Now I'm going to ask you to do a rond de jambe on layer with a quarter promenade on or two, three, and four. The last one, five, to développe effacé, six, brush through the first, to attitude effacé, eight. Promenade, one, and two, and three, finishing that quasi on four, arm comes down, arabesque plie, pas de bourre, and down. Devil pay écarté, two, three, and four. Take it to the back, four counts to take it to the back. I want you to do what we're working on at the bar, six, seven, and eight. Then bend into attitude plié, pas de bray, entrenant into the fourth, on de don pirouette into the fifth, détourné, and stay. So I'm gonna say it faster because it's easier to pick up an adagio when it's not so slow. Um, so you're going to brush one, two, three, four, five, effacé, six, seven, effacé, eight, promenade, two, three, quasi four, stretch to arabesque, plié, pas de bray, and down. Back foot picks up for devil pay écarté, two and three and four. Four counts to take it to arabesque, five and six and seven and eight. Bend to plié attitude, pas de bray, entrenant into the fourth. En de don, pirouette, de tourne, and down. All right, so let me get to a page where I can see people. Do I have a thumbs up on that one? Cool, okay, great, thank you so much. All right, so fifth position, right foot front. You're standing in that fifth, you're gonna brush that right leg. So my inner thighs are forward, but my weight's already on the ball of that left foot. So all I have to do is bring that leg up and boom, baby, I'm on my leg, okay? Fifth position, and. Beautiful quarter brush, good. Brush on foss, quarter on foss. Four, five, three, first, and up, promenade, tour. head down, arabesque plie, beautiful pot of bray. You're going to pick up your back foot, one, eight parte, three, stay, and keep that same arm. Area to the back of four counts. Pull that left arm up as you can stay. Now bend everything. One, two, pod, three, four. On day done, pirouette. Make sure you bring that supporting heel around. And now stretch to arabesque. Yay. Pot of bray. Up, up. You're going to pick up your back foot. Do a carte. Pull that arm up as you carry back. Hold that turn out. Hold that turn out. Hold that turn out. Good. Stay. Get that leg up against your back. Bend everything. One. Two. Beautiful. Pot of bray. Up, up, and on day done. Up. Fifth day tournée. Wow. I'm truly seeing some beautiful work. Um, I, I don't have my glasses on, so I don't know who it was. I saw someone just do the most beautiful. Oh my goodness, your upper body was just exquisite. Bravo. Good. Starting with your right foot front. I'm trying to create a, an exercise that gives you a sense of travel without traveling. So. 
bear with me. <laughs> You're starting with your right foot front. We're going to step into développé, écarté, relevé, one, two, three, balancé, and pique soutenu, stay. Stay up on demi point as you take passe into the fourth, pirouettes en dehors into the fourth, pivot tendu, fourth, en dedans, pirouette into the fifth, balancé left, balancé right, PK, oh sorry, I should say right and left, PK arabesque, relevé. So you, then you have to do a catch step to go to the next side. All right, so I'm going to start, I'm going to start with my right foot front because I do better that way. And développé, balancé, PK soutenu, stay up, passe, fourth, pirouettes to finishing fourth, pivot tendu, fourth, on day done, pirouette. Take the balance to your back foot, right two, three, left two, three, PK, relevé. All right? Let's do, let's do PK, a fast relevé, relevé up, step, step, so you can get into the next side. All right? So once you do the balance, the balance go towards your back foot, two, up, and up, step, step, up two, three, down two, three. Soutenu, stay, passe, and fourth, pirouettes on de or pivot, fourth, on de don, pirouette, back foot, balance, balance, up, releve, up, step, 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 double pay. All right, so I'm trying to keep you in the same space, but give you a sense of move. All right, good luck with this one. Here we go. Right foot front. You're gonna step on the right foot and double pay your left leg up. And. and double pay up. And two, three. Pique suit and new stay. Passe, four. Here what to finishing fourth. Pivot, on do. Very good, very good. Let's go into the world of jumps, but let's start out like super mild. So we're gonna take four sautés in the first, and one, and two, and three, and four, four changes. Two, three, and four, and first, and two, and three, and four, relevé, stay, stay, plié, first. Four in the first, four changements, four in the first, and a relevé. Again, remember to release those plies. It's especially important when you're on difficult surfaces. Release the plie, don't land with your muscles being gripped. All right, one and two and three. Here we go. First position, and. Down. Easy, easy, easy. Fifth, 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 fifth. First, two. Do échappé fermé échappé ferm. Uh, no, I should start with my left foot front, so it makes more sense to you. My bad. So you'll start with your right foot front, but échappé fermé échappé fermé échappé. Your right foot will come up first to coup de pied land. Brush front assemblé entre chicot. Glissade assemblé glissade assemblé assemblé and cut, assemble, and cut. Left side. Second down, fifth and down, second down, fifth and down, second down, coupe down, brush front, fifth and cut. Glissade, assemble, 
glissade, assemble, assemble, and cut, assemble, and cut. Yeah? Scrolling to my page for a thumbs up. Oh, I see people still doing it with their hands. Okay, I'll do it one more time. <laughs> so I'll put my left foot front so it'll look like your right foot. Second down, fifth and down, second down, fifth and down, second down. Your right foot will come up first. Brush, assemble, front and cut. Then glissade, assemble, glissade, assemble, assemble, entrecut, assemble, entrecut. Then you're ready for the left side. Is that clear now? Do I have thumbs up now? Oh, good. Thank you. <laughs> I see that. That's oh, Romeo. I didn't know I was looking at Romeo. Oh, see, I love this. I haven't connected with you in such a long time. Big kiss to you. Yay. Here we go. Thank you. Fifth position, right foot front. And see you all trying the jumps and I'm also happy to see that you're not trying to jump you know Berzhnikov style way up there right now you know but it's important to keep it's important to keep these things going in your body but um but not taxing your body too much so way to go now let's do I was thinking we do a little bit of jeté let's take um no actually I should see what time it is I probably am running over Okay, we should close this out. So let's do, I wanna get something in for my men. So let's do uh, C son and C son. We'll take, right. start with your right foot front. C son and C son. Back foot comes forward and C son attitude. Step assemble. Su su entre chassis and su su tour on layer. Can just be a single, right? Then starting to the left side. C sewn, C sewn. Back foot comes front in quasi attitude, step assemble. C sewn, oh, sorry. C sewn, C sewn, quasi assemble. Su su and cease and su su tour on lair. Yeah? So I have my right foot front. I take C sewn, C sewn. Back foot comes forward into quasi step assemble. Su su. And cease, su su tour on l'air. Si son, si son, si son quasi step assemble. Su su and cease, su su tour on l'air. All right, get back to my page for a thumbs up. We look good. Dylan gave me a thumbs up. Hi, Dylan. <laughs> oh, so nice to see everybody. Okay, here we go. Fifth position, right foot front. And. your breath but don't don't catch your breath too much i want to back up so you have space i want to do it again so i can get your heart rate up all right i'm going for fatigue right now here we go fifth position it's intentional sorry <laughs> and You guys, I am like beyond impressed with what you're doing in, in, with your spaces. Um, I, just keep it up, it's so great. Um, I'd like to say a gigantic, enormous thank you to David for his absolutely wonderful playing today. Um, it really made my day. Thanks, and Darla. you guys made my day too. Oh, thank you, David. Um, but truly you all, the dancers made my day as well. Like I said, reconnecting with some faces I haven't seen in a while, some fa new faces. Um, 
I'm just so in awe of our art form and our response to this pandemic. Um, your beauty comes out. Um, I feel it when I teach class. I see it on these amazing videos. I see artists creating. Artists truly heal the world and you're a great representation of that. Thank you so much. So stay strong, stay safe, spread kindness. Thank you.